Thank you, Marcos. Um, I don't think I'll be that funny today. You only gave me 10 minutes, so I can't, uh, can't make a lot of humor here. Um, I've been at the Priceline Group now 16 years, which is a very long time, and I've seen a lot of good things. I've seen some not so good things. Um, many of you probably don't know what the Priceline Group is, even though we are one of the highest market valued companies in the internet space. But you may have used some of our services, and that may be how you may know us. So let's take a look at some of these. Priceline Group consists of six main brands. The first one, the biggest, Booking.com. That's something that maybe you've used because it's based in Amsterdam. It's a European-based company, but it is worldwide. 200 offices around the world. Uh, they recently announced that over oh. 1 billion guests Easy. have used the Booking.com system. Pretty big. In fact, in just the last year, over 285 million people, guests, went through the system. Now, oh, just man. for to understand what that number means, that means more people than the entire population of the UK, <laughs> France, Germany, Completely. and Italy combined use the system. Uh, the company started yeah. with a company called Priceline.com. That was the first company in the group. Uh, and that was started in the late 1990s. It's only basically in the U.S. And that may be why you don't know the Priceline Group. We also own a company called Kayak. We own a company called Agoda, which sells hotels. That's based in Bangkok. We own a company called Rental Cars. Originally, it was called Travel Jigsaw. It didn't sound like a great name for renting cars, so we changed to Rental Cars, where it's much better. And we bought a company called Open Table, Open Table US-based. So if you look at this, we have Booking in Amsterdam. We have Agoda based in Bangkok. But now you must we have right? our <laughs> rental cars guys in Manchester, UK. And there was another okay. company called Active Hotels that was based up in Cambridge. That was the first acquisition we did. So we bought acquisi the first acquisition, Active Hotels, and we merged it with Booking when we bought Booking. We paid $135 million for Active. Actually, it was for Booking. 165 for Active. Together? $300 million. And then when we bought Agoda, $16 million, not a lot of money there. And we bought rental cars, we spent about $100 million for that. You add all that together, less than $500 million. Keep that in mind. $60 billion market cap, that's what it was when I did the slide last week. It's currently $65 billion. That's a very good number. Now, the interesting thing about this, you see a lot of privately, uh, private companies are valued extremely high, but they don't make a lot of money. Our company, 2014, we did $3.5 billion in EBITDA. It's, um, it's something that nowadays, it's a public company, we're listed on the NASDAQ, you look at some of the valuations of people not making any money, and say, gee, why aren't we getting that high valuation? It's just some sort of a dichotomy between what people are willing to pay for the private companies and what they're willing to pay for the public companies. And I've been in the finance business for over three decades now. And sometimes it'll switch around and we'll see the public companies will get the better valuations. I hope that happens soon. The five companies that are actually valued higher than us, and these are the only five companies in the world in the internet space that are valued higher than us, are ones you recognize fairly easily. There's a big difference between them and us, though. Every one of these companies, after they went public, did fairly well afterwards. Yeah, there were a couple of hiccups here and there, but nothing dramatic. It looked pretty good. But let's take a look at us. We went public back in 1999. That's all the way over to the left side. And within a week, we had a market cap of $30 billion. We had very little revenue. We had no profits. Back then, it was the bubble. Everybody's willing to pay anything for anything. Not long after that, the internet bubble burst. Things got very, very bad for us. We almost went bankrupt. A lot of people thought we had gone bankrupt. My mother was getting calls from her friends. Oh, I'm so sorry what happened to Glenn's job. It's terrible. He left that good job at Morgan Stanley. Luckily, we didn't die, though. But it was very tough. We had to lay off a lot of people. So people here who are in companies that are young and early and Sometimes things aren't working so all well, and you have to let some people go. I just want to say that it can happen, but if you play it right, feel that you're doing the right thing to make the company go forward, you can come out of that trough and build up the company again. How did we build up our company? Well, I was in charge of M&A. 
still am. I run m and I run strategy. I run our ventures group. And I went looking around for companies that I thought could help build our company. And that was when in 2004, when I first found those guys at Active Hotels. And then I found the guys in 2005 in Amsterdam at Booking. And then 2007, the guys at, in Agoda at Thailand. And then I found the guys for Rental Car in 2010. Those guys all together, those are international companies. They produced in 2014, 94% of our total operating income. So if we just do some simple math and we say 94% of that $65 billion market cap, let's just do it straight, make it linear, it's $60 billion or so. And think about it, it was $500 million pushed out, turned into $60 billion. That's a very good return through acquisitions. So the question is, why do I come to NOAA? Why do I do this? And the reason is because I'm looking for more companies like that to buy. And NOAA is the place where the exciting, young entrepreneurial companies that were like when I first visited those companies I mentioned and saw them for the first time and have now become these big companies, that's what I'm here to look for. And we continue to do this. We have a company called Boutique that was out in Seattle, Hotel Ninjas in Barcelona, Price Match in Paris, Clicka out of Tel Aviv, Rocket Miles out of Chicago, so all over the world. I'm looking to find Companies that we have already found that have the same drive, the same entrepreneurial spirit, that have the same ability to grow from a very, very small company and become a giant. Hopefully we'll find some here. Thank you very much.